Coming up this morning, we have all the information on how FIU is training to be prepared if ever under an active shooter attack. We also have an update on the two students who were brutally attacked at the FIU Biscayne Bay campus. And later, we have all the information about a nail salon that provides student discounts for their services. All this and more on FIU News. Good afternoon, FIU. Today is November 15th. I'm Linda Terralong. And I'm Isabel Loggins. Up first, FIU police are implementing active shooter trainings as a part of their campus safety routine in response to the increase of mass shootings across the country. My co-anchor Linda covered one of these trainings to gather all the information about it. This past February, all Florida residents were shaken up by the tragic shooting that happened at Stoneman Douglas. Now, FIU students are asking what exactly police are doing in order to make sure their campus is safe. Actually training faculty and staff we're giving them a three to four hour lecture to include what to do if an active shooter were to occur and what to, you know, how to address serious bleeding or, or significant bleeding. Many have posed security questions about there only being one entrance and exit to the Biscayne Bay campus. Florida legislature recently enacted a law that allows FIU to start making the changes necessary to reopen the road on the south side of BBC. The roadway that has to be reopened. Um, the issue there now is going to be getting through the, the, the government restrictions on the environment and doing it in a way that protects the environment but increases the ability of people to get in and out of that area. Year-round assimilated scenario trainings will take place until every single building on both campuses are covered. The trainings are not just to strengthen the officer's tactics in taking down an active shooter, but train staff on what to do in such situation. To make that decision quickly and follow through with it because uh, in our office space it's just one long corridor so there's not a lot of room for uh, indecision. Now FIU is also working and placing bleed kits all over the university which contains materials used in the military in order to form tourniquets and stop excessive bleeding. Reporting from Florida International University, Linda Terlong, FIU News. Thank you, Linda. It's great to see how FIU is constantly preparing its police officers to keep the students, faculty, and staff safe. And speaking of attacks, we have our reporter, Maciel Romero, on the latest update of two mass students that were attacked at FIU's Biscayne Bay campus. It's been nearly two months since two mass at FIU students were attacked on campus and the attacker has yet to be caught. We need the public's help. Um, anything, anything at all that, that you see, that you know, that you think might be irrelevant, anything, um, please call. FIU police or Crime Stoppers. The students had been attending a study session the day of the attack, and when the session was over, they decided to take a walk along the bay. During their walk, they encountered the attacker who was standing next to a bike, and the students said hello. The rest of the details are unclear due to the severe injuries both students suffered. From what I heard is what happened is we were while we were walking away, I was hit in the back of the head with a stick, the, the uh, tree branch the guy was holding. He hit me once, and it did knock me out completely, so that was... From Rella's story, hit me again, and that completely knocked me out. As you can see, the incident took place right here in this secluded area where there are no surveillance, and police say this has been a major setback in being able to identify the suspect. However, if you can also take a look, there are various objects that could become a weapon like this wooden plank. However, police are not telling us what that weapon is for security purposes. Now we've already shown our sketches. We've made flyers, shared it with the community. We followed up on all tips that those flyers and those sketches generated. Um, and at this point, we haven't been able to identify anybody where we're comfortable making an arrest in this case. Police are also doing everything they can in order to find a match via DNA. There's fingerprints, DNA, clothing fiber, everything we can do. We are pulling all the levers on this one. I've gotten complete cooperation from the Miami-Dade Police Department. Mass at FIU is currently bringing in a counselor every Wednesday, not just for the victims, but for all students to help them cope. Families and police are also urging the community, if they saw anything, to please come forward. If you saw something, please contact Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. Reporting from Florida International University, Maciel Romero, FIU News. Thank you, Maciel, for the update. Thankfully, FIU does have counselors to assist students and staff who feel affected by this incident. 
And speaking of counselors, our reporter Shayla went to the counseling department to see how beneficial counseling is in the life of college students. Here at FIU, students can find a wide variety of on-campus resources that accommodates each student's needs. CAPS is a counseling and psychological service catered to FIU students seeking guidance with everyday stress from work, school, and life. And being involved on, in so many things on campus has got me really stressed out lately and I have a lot of expectations coming from a lot of different areas and it really makes me feel on edge always and I really don't like how much anxiety it gives me and one thing that really helps me with stress is going to the counseling and psychological services office here on campus and they're a good resource to use because there's always someone that's really on campus and really accessible and they've always been there for me and I continually appreciate the fact that they have always been there for me. One major concern for students speaking to a stranger about their personal issues is the fear of it getting out. Program coordinator Alyssa Delgado explains why students shouldn't worry. Uh, we offer free and confidential services, which means free because you already paid for it in tuition, um, and confidential because it is licensed mental health professionals. They went to school, they have degrees, they have licensures, so they have to, they literally can't say anything to anyone. Um, not your teachers, not the police, not anybody. They can't force you to do anything. So balancing out all my classes and my social life and campus life can become very difficult when it comes to making time to study because it, since it does take up a lot of my time, um, I get very nervous and anxious when I have exams coming up. I can, get, I can sometimes get panic attacks or like minor mental breakdowns depending on what's going through my head and like what's going on. So more than half of the students that come into the center are actually to get help for stress and anxiety. And that's a big number because we see a couple thousand students a semester, so you do the math, you know? If you or someone you know is suffering from stress or any type of mental health issues, CAPS is an available resource with someone there to help, whether in person or online. For further information, visit studentaffairs.fiu.edu. Shayla Daly, reporting for FIU News, back to you in the studio. Thank you, Shayla. Panthers, remember these services are included in your tuition. And after the commercial break, we have the insight on a nail salon that provides discounts for FIU students. A team building track at Biscayne Bay Campus gives us all the information on their program. And later, Rosangelica and Paolo give us the scoop on recreation activities Panthers can enjoy. Hello Panthers, I'm your weather forecaster Yesenia Perez. Here we are in an early weekend and let's see what to expect from Mother Nature in South Florida. Tomorrow Friday will be mostly sunny despite some afternoon clouds. The temperatures will range from a high of 75 to a low of 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And there is a 10% chance of rain with winds of coming from the northeast. On Saturday it will be partly cloudy with some sun in the morning with increasing clouds during the afternoon resulting in some showers. The temperatures will range from a 79 to a 71 degree. Keep in mind that the sun sets at 5.30 p.m. Moving along to the end of your weekend, the temperatures will, will range on Sunday from the low 80 degrees to 71. There's a 40% chance of rain. Your day will be cloudy with occasional showers throughout the day. The, so Panthers, I hope you enjoy your sunny Friday and don't go too far from your umbrella over the weekend. Back to you. Thank you, Yesenia. I will make sure to keep my umbrella handy. What better way to enjoy the great weather this Friday than taking some swimming lessons here at FIU? We have more information about it. At Florida International University, there's something for everybody. 
And here at the Biscayne Bay campus, a swimming program called the Learn to Swim program are offered to FIU students and community members. The way it works is we offer it to kids and adults. Um, it's, it's mostly for people who don't know how to swim at all and want to learn the techniques and um, want to eventually work out, as like do a swim workout or maybe even train for a triathlon. To ensure safe lessons, lifeguards are always on duty while classes are in session and the instructors make sure that their students learn at their own pace, creating a safe environment for beginner and advanced swimmers. If you or anyone you know that would be interested in these classes, prices run from $150 for eight sessions, twice a week, any day between Monday through Thursday, usually starting around 4 p.m. Thank you, Shayla. I need to find a swimming partner and sign up. Now, it's important to look as good as you feel, but it's even better when you can do it on a budget. Gabby Corral shares with us a nail salon that accommodates its prices for FIU students. Students at Florida International University might not be aware that there's a salon near the university's Biscayne Bay campus that offers discounts for FIU students and staff. Many students don't get their nails done at a salon because it's too pricey, and prices could range from $45 to $60 for manicure and pedicure. At Pamper Me Nail Salon and Spa, FIU students are offered discounts for manicure, pedicure, and eyebrow waxing. According to Payscale.com, a student worker earns an average wage of $9.25 per hour, which means they will have to work at least five hours to be able to afford these services. Um, I absolutely love that they offer um, student discounts because as a college student we actually like don't have the luxury of like getting our nails done and getting our hair done like that at a discounted rate. So um, I really like the fact that they offer that to us college students. We're outside Pamper Me Nails and Spa to find out more about the discounts offered to our students, faculty and staff. We offer 20% off on Monday through Thursdays for students with an ID and a current schedule and 10% off for staff. Thank you, Gabby. It is always a good idea to look good and save money at the same time. And in other news, students are not aware of the ropes course track located at FIU Biscayne Bay campus. Our sports anchor, Rosa Angelica Perez, has more on it. The ropes course track located at FIU Biscayne Bay campus is an experimental education program. It offers a completely new and fun way to develop group dynamics to FIU students and faculty staff. This activity is completely hands-on and it focuses on the development of new skills, such as team building development, leadership, communication and problem solving. We spoke to the program coordinator, Jennifer Cooper, to get more information about it. The ropes course has been open approximately 22 years. We're FIU student. Uh, they pay $38 to come out, whether it's a half day or a full day, and that's the lowest price that we offer. In addition to helping build team trust skills, this activity serves as a workout too, as it involves physical efforts. Um, I built the course, oversee program content, uh, as well as the nuts and bolts of maintaining and developing program for the clients. So much cool stuff happens here. I think it's a magical place because we don't teach what people bring to it. What, what did you notice? And people tell us what they notice. And that's just, that's awesome. Uh, a friend in the, in, in, the, in the class just recommended me this course to go with my coworkers because it's a really good opportunity to like improve your teamwork skills. And I think it's a really good idea because not even it's just fun and you are exercising, but also you really improve those skills that are really important in any job that you can have. The ropes course track is available upon request and reservation for FIU students, faculty staff, and any other organization looking for a great team building activity. For FIU News, this is Rosangelica Perez. Back to you at the studio. Thanks, Rosangelica. I think I'll tell my friends to go and try the ropes course experience. Yes, Linda, count me in. Rosangelica and Paolo, what is the latest on FIU's recreational activities? Rosangelica, did you know that FIU provides intramural sports? Yes, I do, Paulo. Well, for those who love sports and are not aware, our university provides students, faculty, and staff the opportunity to participate in different leagues, tournaments, and events. Our weather anchor, Jesenia Perez, took advantage of the great weather to find out more about it. 
Every semester, the Wellness and Recreation Center at the Modesta campus offers students the opportunity to participate in a variety of sports leagues, tournaments, and events as part of the intramural sports program. This is a good way to distract from the classes for all that bubble of stress, and it's a perfect way to new students to make new friends in a beautiful way such as playing a sport. This program not only allows students to be part of a sports team with their friends, but it also is a great way to stay active and practice a healthy lifestyle, especially for those who live on campus. I love it because look, we brought all the friends out. We were literally all in our room just bored, and we just all hit each other up, like, yo, let's go play kickball. We all got these groups and came out here, it was mad fun. So. Considering that all participants are students, they have a very flexible schedule, and the price to join varies. Pablo Jaramillo gives us an insight on this topic. So we have three different plans. So we have a $10 plan, which is you only get to play one sport. We have a $15 plan, which is you play a variety of sports, but only in one semester. And then we have a $25 plan, which is um, a yearly plan, so you get to play every sport, um, fall and spring. If you're interested in joining an intramural league next semester, you can visit the WRC building, room 103. Reporting for FIU Sports News, I am Jesenia Perez. Thanks, Jesenia. If you're a sports lover, you can't miss this opportunity. Definitely, Paolo. Well, if you're not really interested in participating in our intramural sports program, there are other ways to stay active this semester. FIU has a triathlon club that offers swimming, running, and biking training. My co-anchor, Paolo Rego, tells us more about it. In October 2011, a group of PhD students decided to take on the adventure of training for FIU triathlon scheduled for spring 2012. Since then, they have grown to a large group that trains every Saturday at BBC campus. We, we work with kid, people in the community, the students, and try to have them do a swim, bike, run, and introduce them to triathlons. People are sort of scared of that, so we try to make it very easy for them, we teach them how to swim, we have bikes for them, and we also teach them the proper running style. FIU's Triathlon Club was founded in 2011 and is a place for students, faculty, alumni, and members of the local community. They meet every Saturday and Sunday mornings at FIU Biscayne Bay campus to swim, run, and bike. So we have uh, also meetings that uh, they help us with the nutrition, uh, know how to eat, uh, properly. Uh. The group workout trains at the pool and also at the bicycle and running routes. Club advisor Christina Reddick gives us more information on that. Triathlon Club uh, practices a group workout once a week on Saturday. We meet here at 8 a.m. Um, it's absolutely free for FIU students and the club practice is really like a group workout that's led by a USAT certified triathlon coach. FIU Strike Club competes, volunteers, and plans running and triathlon events. And remember that FIU students are always free to join. For more information, visit the link below. Reporting for FIU News, this is Paulo Rego. Now we don't have any excuse for not having a healthy lifestyle and working out, guys. That's right, Rosangelica. And coming up after the commercial break, my co-anchor Isabel has the insight of a self-defense class FIU offers and a taste of FIU's very own salsa lessons. All this and more on FIU News. The FIU gym supplies students with everything they need to stay fit and an opportunity to exercise the mind and body. From locker rooms, comfortable bathrooms, live fitness treadmills, strength weight section, complimentary water, and a wide variety of cardio exercise schedule all included in your tuition. Save yourself a gym membership and come join us. Students just need to bring a valid Panther ID. Stop making excuses. Don't be crazy and stop being lazy. Now, safety is a priority at FIU. A self-defense awareness class is being offered to all women who either attend or work at the university. My co-anchor Isabel Loggins has more information. Florida International University provides self-defense awareness and rape progression defense classes. These classes are aimed at females in order to educate them on personal safety and tactics needed in case of rape or any other kind of assault. According to Student Affairs at FIU, one in five women get sexually assaulted on college campuses. 
If you are a woman attending or working at FIU, you have the opportunity to take one of these self-defense awareness and familiarization exchange classes. We spoke to Sergeant Jose Ramirez to find out more. Uh, this class is uh, it's a class for women, designed for women. Uh, and during the class, we provide them with animation, tactics and considerations uh, for that we believe might be useful during uh, various types of attacks against women. This is a two-part class. The class, uh, the first part is a, is a presentation. Where we provide them with information that we will, um, that we hope will help them reduce the chance of becoming a victim. And then the second part is where we get into the five basic moves. First, to show the ladies that no matter how small they are, they can do it, right? And second, to hopefully motivate them to continue training in self-defense. I think it's uh, a great class for women to learn about themselves and how they would react if they're attacked. They, wanna, they would like to know beforehand, just in case it does ever happen, they know what to do and they'd be prepared to do to defend themselves. After the recent FIU attacks, some say students are becoming more aware of the risk of assault on college campuses. According to the National Sexual Violence Research Center, 20 to 25 percent of college women are victims of forced sex during their time in college. I decided to take this class because recently I've been seeing over the news and especially at FIU a lot of things have, have happened lately and I wanted to be prepared so as soon as I discovered the class I enrolled. These safe classes are offered twice every semester. The classes are free but limited up to 20 people. If you'd like to sign up, visit the website on the screen. For FIU News, I'm Isabel Loggins. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Isabel, for such important information. Now, Pantheress, if you're interested in taking one of these classes, visit Student Affairs. Get ready for the upcoming holidays with some new dance moves from FIU Salsa classes. On Wednesday and Friday, instructor David Cardenas will guide you into a fun cardiovascular workout incorporating the method of salsa dancing. This workout is not only a fun way to relieve stress and burn some calories, but you will also learn how to dance salsa or practice on the moves you already know. We live in Miami. When you're going to go out clubbing, there's a very good chance that they're going to play some type of salsa whether it be later in the night or earlier in the night, and then no one really knows how to dance that anymore. So when you start pulling out those moves, everyone's be like, wow, look at that. This class teaches you individual and couple moves that you can use to impress your friends on the dance floor. And if you're asking yourself what the price to attend is, don't worry, because this class is covered in your student tuition. I can't wait to take one of these classes and show up some new dance moves. I'll be your dance partner. Now that's all we have for you today for FIU News. I'm Linda Terralong. And I'm Isabel Loggins. See you next time and have a great day, Panthers.